Okay, so we're gonna put a piece of drywall back there. Make a little diagram, get your dimensions for all your holes. Make sure that you mark the center holes on everything. So from this wall to the center, and then either from the, the base of the tub to the center, or from the top, either way you go. And do that on all three of these. And then you'll take note of what size holes you'll need. Cutting drywall is one of the easiest things you can do. Take a straight edge or a long square meant for um, drywall. Basically, you just take your knife after you mark your mark. This is just a scrap piece, but you score it. One or two times it's fine. This is a little bit of a dull knife blade. Then you'll pick it up, break it from the back, and you got that nice clean cut. And you take your knife out again, then you just score the back side. Then you have your nice cut piece. That is my back wall. Took a video of. There's my center marks. Really neat tool here. You can just plunge it right in the center of whatever you're doing. It scores it. Really cool tool. And you can just break it out just like that. Sometimes if you cut the back of the um, cut the back of the drywall before you do that, it busts out a little cleaner, but that works just as good. And you can do that on any of your holes you need. A little five dollar part you can get. So a lot of the times I get to work by myself. So I know there's a stud here to screw into, a stud here. This all got cut out, so we're using this as a little bit of backing. There's backing down here and backing up there. Basically what I'll do is I'll take my first couple screws, since I'm by myself, and I'll tack in a couple screws here and on that side so that when I, when I start to hang this thing up there, it will, uh, I'm not fighting to grab screws until I can get it tacked. If I had a little bit of help, I would uh, just have my helper hold it for me real quick. And the uh, the guys that do it every day, they have their they're really good. I don't do drywall every day, so it takes me a second to. I'm just a lonely old towel guy. No good helpers in this town. So there we go. So this one's sitting nice and neat, but a lot of times when you're out here, you're holding this thing up and fighting it. So right when I would get it up there, I would already have these screws in, in place. So you'd be able just to screw those on. And then it would stay on the wall for you when you screw the rest on. Be really careful not to hit some of the plumbing. Some of these pipes are a little close to the surface. And there's no stud to protect, um, to put a, a metal protector on it. So just know where your water lines are. Know not to screw right through your water lines.